Um, what are some of the risks that accompany quantitative easing? Could you walk us through those and help us understand uh, the risk factors you consider as you approach a decision like that one? Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, a preliminary thing to say is that um, uh, w since we have less experience with quantitative easing, um, our, our estimates, our understanding of its efficacy and exactly how much is needed and so on are, are, are less than, than with traditional monetary policy. But in terms of potential side effects, uh, a number have been identified, but I think the two that we would pay most attention to first, um, there are some who believe that uh, greatly expanding our balance sheet would make the exit strategy more difficult and that therefore inflation is more likely and then that might lead inflation expectations to go up, which could be a problem. Um, now, I want to be very clear that we are very confident that we can exit uh, in a timely way from, from our uh, balance sheet strategy and that there is in fact no justification for such a concern, but nevertheless some people might have that concern. So that is one issue. The it, second no, issue... No justification for which concern? The concern that inflation will rise uh, excessively uh, because we can't get out of our balance sheet position. Okay, okay. Uh, so go ahead to your second point. The second one I, uh, has to do with financial uh, stability. Um, the question is, uh, does the prospect of very low interest rates for a long time, does it uh, create problems for certain types of uh, firms like life insurance companies or pension funds? Does it induce excessive risk taking? Um, does it uh, lead to effects that could be uh, uh, counterproductive in the longer term. There we do extensive monitoring, extensive analysis uh, to try to identify any such problems, but it's always possible that we might miss something. Okay. Uh, it, it, and it sounds like you're not, you're not discounting, you're not refuting the possibility that it can have inflationary effects. You're just saying that you think you can time it in such a way that it is less likely to? There, there are two separate issues. One is our timing of when we take monetary policy back to a more normal stance. In any monetary policy easing episode, there's always the question of whether the Fed gets it exactly right, too soon, too late. And it's always the case that if the Fed ta waits too long to remove monetary accommodation, you could get some inflation effect. What I'm talking about here is the question of whether it is uh, technically possible to, to undo the balance sheet uh, expansion in a timely way. We are very confident that we have the technical tools to bring the balance sheet down to a more normal level, to bring the amount of reserves in the banking system down to a more normal level at the appropriate, you know, when, it become, when we decide it's time to uh, tighten monetary policy. So the technical side we have, we think we're quite comfortable with. It's always the case, no matter under most normal traditional monetary policy, that the timing of withdrawal of stimulation is, is difficult. And, it's always possible that you could either undershoot or overshoot, and that's, that's unavoidable. With Treasury yield rates being at, at all-time historic lows, uh, I, I think it becomes difficult to dispute that at some point in the next few years, we'll start to see a normalization. We'll start to see uh, yield rates return uh, uh, to their historic averages, perhaps ab above. Do you have any sense, and can you offer us any insight into when we might expect to see that happen? Um, well, we've indicated that uh, we expect to keep uh, short-term rates low until late 2014, at least. Um, but even then, longer-term rates might be rising uh, if, in fact, we are removing short-term rate uh, reductions at that point. Um, since long rates include expectations of short rates even beyond that window, you could be seeing some movement uh, uh, by then. Um, you know, we do expect, of course, rates to normalize over time, uh, but uh, the exact timing is very difficult to judge because it depends very much on the recovery of the economy. And while we see the economy moving at a moderate pace in the right direction, you know, the point at which we are comfortable that it's time to withdraw monetary stimulus is obviously quite uncertain. Is there a risk of a sharper rebound the longer you keep the rates low? Um, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Uh, it, it is true that um, the uh, quantitative easing measures have pushed down the so-called term premia on longer term rates. And if those were to normalize quickly, that would make the increase in rates a little faster than might otherwise be the case. 
Um, but we have stress tested uh, both our economic models um, and our uh, financial portfolio, I mean the uh, financial portfolios of financial institutions. And um, we don't see at this point any uh, serious risk either to economic recovery or to, um, uh, to, the finan to financial stability of that return of interest rates to more normal levels. But it's obviously, again, something we need to pay close attention to. Okay. Uh, thank you, Chairman Bernanke. I see my time has expired.